Will a Boeing 787-10ER and 787-9LR work? In May of 2019, when Air New Zealand placed an order for eight 787-10 airplanes to replace its aging 777-200 fleet, Boeing presented the possibility of a higher gross weight variant, dubbed by many to be the 787-10ER, to replace their fleets of 777-300ERs as well. When Boeing offered their proposal for Kwana's project Sunrise, it became clear that they had proposed more than just one aircraft type. Given the delayed development of the 777-8, they needed to offer a stopgap measure. Many speculated that the stopgap could be an upgraded 787 variant, either the Dash 9 or Dash 10. Though given the Dash 9's longer range with its smaller capacity, it was likely that Boeing would work on the Dash 9 variant. Rumour stated that new fuel tanks could be placed in the cargo hold, though it would necessitate an increase in the takeoff weight over today's 787. And that brings us to the question of this detailed analysis. How could Boeing upgrade the 787? Quickly let me add that this video is highly based on thoughts and speculation from an F geek. Whether it's credible, I dare say yes. Firstly, let's have a look at the current 787 family. But before we do, just a quick shout out to the Airplane Productions Instagram page, the new home for all future aviation news updates. Follow us there so you'll be updated on the latest in the aviation industry. If you are new to the channel, a warm welcome and do consider subscribing for more of such great detailed aviation analysis and epic comparisons on the way. The 787-10 is the longest variant of the family, and is a stretch over the Dash 9. It carries 40 more passengers than the Dash 9, at around 337 passengers in a two-class layout. However, this is at the expense of range. The Dash 10 has a range of 6,430 nautical miles. Boeing markets the Dash 10 as a competitor to the A350-900 over shorter missions with lower cost per seat than the A350. The smaller Dash 9 has one of the longest maximum ranges of any airplane today, and is the longest range member of the 787 family. It has a range of 7,655 nautical miles while carrying a full payload of 290 passengers. All in all, both 787 variants have decent performances, though a bump in range for both could attract new customers and new orders. So why then an ER and LR? Well firstly, much of the current generations of 777s the Dash 300 ER and perhaps the Dash 200 LR will near retirement age within the next 5 to 10 years. Airlines will be looking for more fuel efficient aircraft to replace them. The larger of the two, the Dash 300 ER, was an airplane which, according to many, fits in a sweet spot in the market. Seating around 360 passengers while flying 7,370 nautical miles, the airplane is perfectly suited in capacity and range for many routes today. The smaller Dash 200 LR offers more range for airlines that need it. However, when Airbus launched the A350-1000, it had same capacity and range but burned 25% less fuel. The new 777-8 hasn't received many orders and the development of the 777-8 has been put on hold. Why isn't it selling well? Well, the 777-8 is a shrink of the Dash 9 but with the same wings and engines. Hence, as it is a shrink, it is de-optimized in many ways and also has high seat mount costs when compared to the A350.
upgrading a 787 family, in particular the Dash 9 and Dash 10, will optimize the aircraft and a potential longer range 787-9 will be more competitive in terms of cost per seat compared to a small 777X like the 777-8. It will also allow Boeing to compete directly with Airbus in this lucrative market, with the A350-900 and a potential 787-10ER going head-to-head -head in capacity and range. A 787-9 with uprated range could compare with the ULR A350 and nicely replace the older 777-200LR. Furthermore, the airplane would be one of the most fuel-efficient ultra-long-range twins ever built, as the current 787-9 is extremely optimized. So how then will Boeing increase the range? Well, fuel volume with it both isn't a problem. What is, is the payloads they can carry when flying ultra long range. To increase payloads on longer ranges, the only way forward is a higher maximum takeoff weight. Before we study potential ways of getting more takeoff weight, a quick flashback to the past. 1998, when Boeing first introduced the 777 to the market, there were three variants originally planned. The Dash 200, the Dash 200ER, and the Dash 300. Similar to the 787-10, the Dash 300 was a simple stretch of the Dash 200ER with higher capacity. In the early 2000s, with many airlines struggling on long-haul routes and the fuel price escalating, Boeing launched the new Dash 300ER and Dash 200LR variants. These models were the second generation of the 777 series. Boeing, however, could only develop the airplanes when there was a new generation of more fuel efficient and powerful engines available. General Electric announced upgrades to the GE90 engine at the time and wanted to become the sole engine supplier on this rumoured Dash 200 and Dash 300 X aircraft. With its high capacity, the Dash 300 ER could replace 747s on most routes while offering lower fuel burn per trip by around 30%, which during those times of high oil prices was very appealing. The new GE90 115B variant with its extra performance allowed the Dash 300 ER to fly further and carry higher payloads. Meanwhile, similar performance upgrades to the Dash 200 evolved into the Dash 200LR, the longest range airliner in the world. Boeing took the opportunity to increase the maximum takeoff weight and upgrade the aerodynamics of the 777 to allow for more performance and that brings me back to the point on how Boeing could also develop more capable 787s. While some have speculated an increase in the takeoff weight and engine thrust of the Dash 10 for the airplane to carry more fuel on routes, in my opinion, that is unlikely the case. For one, the current Rolls-Royce Trent 1000-10 or GE NX engines are already at their design limits and further increasing the engine thrust through higher fuel injection will make the engine inefficient. Furthermore, increasing the takeoff weight of the Dash 10 in particular will significantly reduce the airplane's takeoff and climb performance. In my opinion, Boeing could consider a Dash 10 ER variant when there's a new generation of more fuel efficient engines available. Rolls-Royce is rumoured to develop a new advanced ultra-fan generation of engines beyond 2020s. The ultra-fan will most likely deliver 10% or more increase in fuel efficiency. By re-engineing the 787 with this new generation of engines, the airplane will have at least a 10% reduction in fuel burn, resulting in lower trip and seat costs. However, the 10% less fuel burned also means the airplane 
will be able to fly 10% further. The current Dash 10 has a range of 6,430 nautical miles. A 10% increase means that the airplane will be able to fly around 650 nautical miles further for a range of more than 7,000 nautical miles. By upgrading the aerodynamics of today's 787, Boeing will likely be able to extract even more fuel-saving benefits from the 787 platform. This means the Dash 10 will be able to fly most of the missions that the 777-300ER is flying while burning significantly less fuel. The Dash 10 will however be a smaller airplane than the Dash 300ER and A350-1000, but in a market where airlines prefer smaller widebody airplanes, the smaller Dash 10ER could be a hit with its range and capacity. If Boeing re-engines the Dash 10, a re-engined Dash 9 could have nearly 8,400 nautical miles of range. That will make the Dash 9 a perfect replacement for today's 777-200LR. There are however some challenges in Boeing's way. The 787-10 is an airplane optimized for shorter 6,000 nautical mile missions. Hence, on longer ones, the A350-900 may be more efficient as it was purpose-built to fly 8,000 nautical mile flights. Furthermore, Airbus is sure to also re-engine their A350 when this new generation of more fuel-efficient engines are available, further widening the gap between their A350-900 and the 787-10 re-engine. Overall though, the 787-10ER is certainly an interesting concept that will further power the 787 family to greater heights. Will Boeing launch the aircraft as a simple upgrade, or will it be a simple re-engine of today's 787? Or will Boeing even launch the airplane at all? Well, we can only dream and speculate the answers for ourselves as of now. However, with the impressive performances that the Dash 10 ER and Dash 9 LR should bring, it will certainly be a hit with many airlines and will be a true successor to the 777-300ER in a similar size category. What do you think about such an airplane? Will Boeing launch the 787-10ER and Dash 9 LR? And how will Boeing upgrade the current 787 then? Let me know in the comments below. As ever, thanks for tuning in to this detailed aviation analysis and do stay tuned for more on the way. In the meantime, till we meet then, as ever, wishing you and everyone a truly clear sky ahead.